it's been a good day here today watching all the uh, children playing and by the look of it I think that to have come this far in four or five months that they've been playing I think it's an, an amazing step forward I would if you'd have asked me five months ago if this could have happened today I would have said no not at all I've been in Goa for almost uh, three months now and I've been in India for almost three years and uh, the turnout today is uh, crazy. Huh? We didn't expect this for the first time and it's usually harder to get uh, new spots and get this kind of turnout. So it, it's a pos positive thing for us all. I brought out today uh, uh, two groups, under 13 boys and under 13, 17 boys. Goa has a good potential to play rugby as a starting a touch rugby where they te uh, rugby teaches us a lot of things like teamwork, discipline, uh, engagement, sportsmanship, respect. Very good. The standard of play of some of these teams is absolutely tremendous. Much more than I could have expected. I think they've gone from never having played before to being a really really good uh, side with lots and lots of potential. There is no uh, kind of discrimination or any boundaries for anybody so even those who have there are some people who have a lot of potential who have the love for a game or a sport but cannot do it because money kind of restricts, restricts them. Here there is no restrictions you can just come learn the art of, of uh, rugby and kind of get into the game. And I'm very happy that Anish has started touch rugby in Goa, especially the fact that he started a women's team that's really motivating for women and uh, I'm really happy and I'm having a very good time over here. We've got the geography, we've got the perfect pitch. If you can see there's the, there's the sea over there. So I think given the right kind of coaching and the right diet and right training, they definitely have great potential. Guys, ever since we've started rugby in Goa, we've always had this one team and that's Goa Armchair. So Goa Armchair means we're in this together and we've stuck by it. If you've seen the day, the, the way we've actually got rugby to Goa, we've got togetherness, we've got everyone respecting the whole game and we can officially say today that rugby has entered the lives of Goans. The tournament was fantastic. We have a great team that's with us together that's putting this and, and thank you everyone, all our volunteers, all our friends, all our blessings for being a part of Goa Rugby. And if this is the, what we can do after five months, where do you think we can go this time next year? We're having another festival this time next year that will be three times as big. All right, we're having a well-earned break now until February and then we're going to come back and we're, we started with Touch Rugby in Goa and we're going to take it to the rest of India. All right, and we're going to take India to the World Cup. And I'm really impressed by um, how it's been organised and I hope that touch rugby one day becomes one of the main sports in Goa. I hope it flourishes because it looks like an amazing sport. Rugby is alive and kicking in Goa Amche. 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 Goa Amche.